Hi, it's Mel Dennis here for the NIHA Oceana in the Spin series. And I am here with none other than Ed Smith and Paul Sharp from the Calliope Sliders. Ed is our president at Calliope Sliders and Paul, the vice president. Welcome guys, thanks for joining us. You're holding a ribbon show uh, this weekend to raise some funds for the Calliope Sliders State Championship and the NIHA Oceana Regional Finals. Fantastic. Yep, no, no, it's good to have have us on, and yeah, it's a it's a bit of a fundraiser ribbon show for for the big show in October, and and there's quite a few new members that come, and they're giving it a go for the first time, which is fantastic to see. That's great, and your clubhouse is at your home grounds, and and the arena we can see behind you, holding your your ribbon shows and clinics and and fundraisers at home. So that must make it easy for you, Ed, just having to slide out of bed and, and onto your own arena. Yeah, it is. Uh, yep, yeah, our clubhouse is there. So when we founded the sliders it, nine years ago, um, we built a clubhouse here, and and I let everyone ride in the arena, and and the, this is where we do all the fun stuff. Yeah, fantastic. Um, tell us a bit about the show coming up. So we've got the end of October in Maryborough. Um, I know there's a few few Victorians making the trek up up north because you guys have been so fantastic in supporting so many of our shows by coming south. Tell us what we can look forward to. Well, we, we're going to have a, a fun time, which the sliders always do. And there'll be one night where we're going to have a, a Halloween party, welcome party for everyone. And then each afternoon, we're going to have some draw drinks for the Futurity and the Derby. So we have a draw party there, Mel. We'll, um, we got we got some ideas where we uh, got some little prizes and everyone will certainly enjoy themselves. I think that's what, what we're coming up for. We tell everyone that we're going there to ride horses, but um, you know, if a horse comes, that's just um, an added bonus, really. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And you've already got um, a, a program or a you know a run of events that you've posted. Yep, we've got schedule events already out, and our program should be out by the end of the month with the entry fees and all that sort of stuff on it. So yeah, it's 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 looking pretty good. So then we can so start. We can... Everyone can start getting it locked in. How many people are you expecting yeah. to come up and compete? Do you think hundreds? Hundreds. We've actually got, uh, we've got um, I don't know whether you can see that, one of our club members, May, yeah, and that's that. one of them. This is for the Trans-Tasman Challenge. So we've got um, our New Zealand friends coming over. Um, we went over to New Zealand a couple of years ago and actually um, won their trophy. And we've got it here as a perpetual and um, so it's open to anybody in Australia who wants to enter that class. So it's a non-sanctioned event. It's going to be the last event on our program. And the, the New Zealand guys are coming over there, great sports, um, and looking forward to great competition there. So we'll also have uh, participants coming from Japan, and we're expecting as people far away as Western Australia. So. So it's, it is the NHA you know, Queensland State Show and the Oceana um, Affiliate Championships. Yeah. And how great is the Oceana um, just for connecting with other rainers, like like for example in Japan that we we haven't really I guess done before. So the Japanese, um, they've got a good following over there. Um, I'm not sure of their horsepower, but um, the biggest thing we've got with the Japanese coming is, I think it's the COVID regulations that they have to follow. Um, so just right at now, um, we're hoping they're gonna come out and, and support us. They're all indications they are, and they're part of our Oceana meetings and uh, and our get togethers. So and, very supportive. And they got a good guy over there, <laughs> helps them out, which is Tim Shelley. He's their Oceana rep and he's helping them out to get here and and in time, I think what they're after is they, they want horses over here and train and then come and ride here at our NRHA shows. Yeah, perfect. It's, we'll, um, we've actually been in contact with Tim, so we'll be doing an interview on the In The Spin with them very shortly, but excited to be able to catch up with them live up there in October as well. Yeah, right. cool. 
the other thing we're running is a um, one of our one of our members has passed away recently, um, Barry Delbridge, and we'll we'll be running a um, memorial for Barry, and yes. uh, that will be a Movember initiative. So all proceeds of that class will go to Movember for men's mental health. Fantastic. Um, very very prominent everywhere in our country, so we need to support that best we can. So that will be another well supported event. I'm imagining. Men's health. It, it's for men's health. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So. Yeah, great cause. Well done, guys, for getting behind that. And um, hopefully we get every competitor putting in an entry for that class. Yep. Yep. And we're hoping that each afternoon like, we'll run that the first afternoon and then the snaffle bit maturity the next afternoon and then the futurity and then the derby. Each each afternoon have something pretty cool to do and, and then finish early enough where we can all get together and and have a bit of a good time and socialise. Socialise. Get socially excited. Yeah. <laughs> so you guys do a fair bit of travelling for your shows. As I mentioned before, you've been down to, you know, a number of the of the shows down south in Victoria. What's some of the travel tips yeah. that you've got for, for people doing the same trek but coming up to you guys this time? We've got a we've got a full list of um camp spots that we use. Uh, um what we found is the best camp spots and and strategically placed in a trip if say we were going to victoria and it's the same on the way back so if you wanted to take the coast road we've got some specific camp spots there um, and the same doing going through the center down the newell highway so we hope to put that information out on our web page so that guys who want to travel can follow that specific route and we can give them phone numbers and camp site num phone numbers that they can contact if they want to um, camp in a specific spot. Fantastic. Yeah. Well, I'll pop you the um, link to your web page as well in the in the comments of this video. So if anybody is looking to travel up up north from you know no matter where, you might need to have a, a stop or two stays overnight. Um, yeah, jump onto the page. I guess closer to the to the time and, and work out your travel. Yeah. Yeah. Either that or they can give us a ring, Mel. We're only too happy to help them. Yeah. Easy. Fantastic. Yeah. Tell us a bit about the ribbon show you've got happening this weekend. So we just got the Rivers show happening and we run these shows um, purely to get people into raining. Um, some of the classes is any gear. So yeah, we've got a non-sanctioned, non -sanctioned. so we've got a dressage lady coming that's that's pretty high up in dressage, but pretty excited to come along and have a go. And then we've got some other ladies that have never been to a show ever, never even been in front of a judge and they're coming along and having a go and and they they sort of come from clinics that we've been doing here and at come other and places and come and try days that they come along and they go you know we can get in front of a judge and yeah. we've got rod osborne being the judge and he's really nice to people and welcome them to him and which makes them feel a lot better just to get into that pen that first time and have a bit of fun yeah, that's fantastic. We've been, um, with with the arena issues we're having with the VRHA, we've been doing a few come and try days um, down in a smaller arena in Gippsland and they've been really successful and amazing, amazing the people that are coming to give it a try who haven't even, you know, done a Western lesson before. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I, I, found when, I found where we're up here so far away that people just think they can't do this yeah. stuff and... And when you have those come try days and open days, they do come along and and then they join in and have some fun with it. So, yeah. And and we always put them on a horse that can spin a bit and they get excited about that. And then they end up coming by on a horse. Hooked up, hooked up. So, yeah, we've got a few special old horses that we use and, you know, they have that fun and, and get hooked on raining and, and then they're away. Yeah, great. The more people we can get into the sport, the better. Yeah, yeah. So, so did I so, show you this trophy? <laughs> you did, Paul. This, <laughs> it's this fantastic. Is, this is actually marble in here. Um, made in Trans Tasman. I don't know if you can see that there. That's These are one of the trophies put up, um, made from um, Christine McDougall and her family. Um, it's made out of Boomy Doodle Wood and uh, the marble there and it's uh, transcript, it's beautiful stuff. So that's one of the trophies there going to be available. Heaps of buckles, um, heaps of prizes. Yeah, and like NRHA have been so generous 
to us guys running the Oceana show that, you know, the stuff that they've sent and the things that they've given us and the help is just over and beyond. It's absolutely fantastic what they've done for us. It's really good. And um, just getting the NRHA name out there and the Oceana and, you know, hopefully we'll have some more clubs coming on board to support as well soon too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And and it is it is unbelievable, that, you know, the help we get from them. Yeah. Yeah, and important to have that, I think, you know, an over an overarching, I guess, um, body that can you can lean on for, for support when you need it. Most it definitely, yep. Yeah, it is. Yeah, we'd like to thank you, Mel, too, for all your input. Wonderful doing these Thanks interviews. <laughs> thank you. Um, all right. Well, so so wrapping up, what's your plug to get us up there to to Maryborough at the end of October? I'm already coming, so it's not for me. It's for everyone out there watching. The most fun you can have with your clothes on, mate. <laughs> I think um, I've been doing some clinics fundraising for the aged events and there's a couple other trainers break a day and and a few others that have come on board to help out with money for the aged events so you know if there's any trainers out there that want to sponsor the Anybody. aged events anyone at all come and have some fun you know i think i've raised seven thousand dollars for the aged events out of the clinics and That's fantastic i've already already said that i'll do a clinic for the next year's oceana show so you know, clubs can go ahead and go, well, I know that we've got some money coming ahead. And, you know, they're about, about $4,000 a clinic. So All inclusive, all supportive. Yeah, and I'm hoping some more trainers will come on board and help raise some money and we go on and do the next one and the next one and we get it going and grow it bigger and bigger. And not yeah. just trainers, I imagine. Like anybody out there that's listening to to the interview and wants to get behind raining and um, advertise their business and get a great bunch of people involved, we're looking for sponsors of all all walks of life. Anybody who's keen to sponsor, just get in touch. Most exactly. definitely, we've got one lady sponsoring us, bringing along um, her marquee to do talks with people about um, how to maintain their small properties and get grasses growing better and that sort of stuff. So she's going to have one-on-one -on -one things with talks with people. And I've done a bit of it here and it's it's been fantastic, like getting my country a lot better and I can run more horses and stuff like that. So she's going to be there doing one-on-one -on -one talks with people and- Very informative. That very, very informative on how to maintain your land with horses and cattle and grain and all that sort of stuff. Yeah, something so, yeah. that I'm sure a lot of people take for granted. That sounds like, um, yeah, something very interesting and not not something you normally say at a, sh a raining show. So it's great to have that diversity. Yes, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yeah. No, it, it will be very good. But, yeah. Excellent. Well, jump into the links in our, in our comments and um, get behind the Calliope sliders and the NRHA Oceana state championship finals. It's um, going to be an exciting October, I think, with um, the show happening in New South Wales and then, then heading up to Queensland. So look forward to seeing you guys up there then. And um, thanks for taking the time out from organising your ribbon show this weekend. Pleasure, Mel. Pleasure. Thank you very much for, for having, having us. us. No worries. We'll see you soon, guys. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks. See ya.